Good morning. Finally getting back to making another video. This time we are starting my undergraduate college program. And I close the door and Simon's digging at the door. <laughs> Oh, come here. Come here. Oh, oh, don't you insult it? Oh, don't you insult it? Oh, snuggle. A little snug. He's digging his claws in. He's probably going to bite me in a minute. You did not want to be picked up. Oh, pouty face. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. I'm not going to put him down without him biting me. He's just a little bitey sometimes. Oops. <laughs> okay. So, Georgia State University in the 1980s was on the quarter system. So fall quarter, winter quarter, spring quarter, summer quarter. They actually had four commencements, one every quarter. Um, and spring, I mean, spring was the biggest one, but the other ones were pretty big too. Because GSU was what they called a commuter school back then. It was a lot of part-time students, a lot of older students. Not like older, older, but, you know, everyone wasn't all 18 years old as a freshman. So the quarter system made it kind of hard because the classes were so short. Um, they're now on the semester system, and I actually tried to Google to see when they switched from quarter to semester, but I couldn't find it anyway. So I started Georgia State University in fall of 1985. And here we go. On the left, you'll see a big drawing of me in drawing class. At the beginning of this project, I thought I was going to include some of these big drawings, and once I made it, I didn't like it. And I redid it to a smaller one, which you'll see here. When we first moved to Atlanta, I bought myself the book Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain by Betty Edwards, but it didn't help me learn to draw. I understood the part about shutting down the left brain, but once I do that, my drawing is not miraculously accurate. Well, now that I am finally a full-time college student majoring in drawing and painting, I will finally learn to draw. My first art class is Drawing 1. I'm taking it in the evening. I'm also taking a writing class and a history class. Cal Hall used to be a parking garage. Isn't that wild? I'm learning where things are. In the bottom of Kel is the refectory. I've never heard that word before. It's a snack bar, but everyone calls it the rat factory. In Sparks Hall is the B&D cafeteria, which everyone calls the bite and die. I love being in the art building. It smells like oil paint and turpentine. However, my drawing class isn't going very well, but I'm trying. This drawing class is terrible. I don't like the instructor. He's a part-time instructor, which means he doesn't give a shit about teaching this class. He saunters in late most evenings, and sometimes he doesn't show up at all, 
we are always asking each other how long we have to wait for him until we leave. Some think it's an hour. One time I left and the instructor showed up after an hour and a half. He has us drawing still lifes, which I find really boring. Vases and boxes painted white from the school's collection of items to draw. I'm having trouble getting it. And all he does is give a brief description like, find the light source and the shadow is on the other side. Well, no shit, you think? Some of my classmates clearly have had art classes in high school and this is familiar to them, but not to me. Also, my drawing is awful. On the plus side, apparently my writing is very good compared to my classmates because I'm doing well in the writing class. I got a student assistant job in the academic department where they teach people to be respiratory therapists. They found out I have admin skills, so they are very happy to have me. My first quarter at GSU is over. I'm ready for a break now. I hope winter quarter is better. I'm taking a daytime class, drawing two, with a GSU faculty member, not a part-time instructor. On the first day of class, he told us, most of what you learn, you will teach yourself. And all I could think was, then why are we paying you? He talks a lot more about technique than the drawing one professor. He explains about making different kinds of marks and about light and shadow. I'm trying, but my drawing is still terrible. I can't accurately draw what I see in front of me. I really just want to draw realistically, and it seems like magic that I cannot do. I'm also taking 2D design. We're learning a lot about light and shade. We have to make these value charts from black to white, and every segment is supposed to be the same percentage change from one to the next. This is hard, but I'm trying to learn these concepts. My third class is American Government. Jay is also taking this class. GSU has a government and history requirement, and you can either take classes to satisfy the requirement or take some test. So we are opting for the classes. Kind of boring. I had this stuff in eighth grade. Spring break. I've been wandering around the campus, working in my sketchbook. I thought I got a D in drawing two. My grade report said D, but it was supposed to be a C. I don't know who screwed up, but a D was entered into the system. So I went to talk to my professor, but he was gone for the break already. So when I finally got to talk to him after he came back, he said, oh, I'm so sorry. It was, should have been a C. And then he said, your drawing was average. I hope you didn't lose any sleep over this. Oh, ha, 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 right. It's only my dream to be an artist. Why would I lose sleep when I thought you gave me a D? Anyway, I just kind of laughed. I laugh when I'm nervous. So he'll submit a grade change. But when I told Jay, she said, look how you spent your spring break drawing all the time. I'm still waiting for all this drawing to improve my drawing. Spring quarter, I'm taking color theory. It's kind of fascinating. We're making color wheels and painting swatches, and we mark off squares and rectangles with masking tape so we can paint clean edges. This I can do. We're learning about the opposites on the color wheel, so to darken a color, you need to add its opposite, red, green, blue, orange, purple, yellow. However, they say always test first, because some colors, when you mix them, they just make an ugly brick red color. There's color theory, and then there's the actual paint. I've discovered that red doesn't make a good purple, but magenta does. Also, the opposites complement each other, which is why a red flower pops, as they say, in the middle of a green field. Lots of useful information. We are encouraged to buy lots of paint for experimenting, but hello, that kind of can be pricey. However, I'm doing well with the concepts. I'm also taking a survey of art history course and another writing course. These survey courses in the huge auditorium classrooms with 300 people are dull. We've been shown slide after slide after slide, and we have to memorize them all so we can identify a handful on the test. Ridiculous. Button has been having urinary tract problems. One night he woke us up making growling noises and then crying noises. 
We got up and ran him to the emergency vet. We still use our same vet in our old neighborhood. They gave him some medication, but said that crystals are building up in his urine and blocking his urethra, and it will probably happen again. And it did. We have him on special food, but finally they said they can fix it. And the surgery essentially removes um, his boy part (laughs) so that there is more room to pee. So we took him in for surgery and we put it on a credit card. So he's recovering and doing well. We don't think he's in any pain, but the surgery didn't help with his mopey personality. He's very sweet and cuddly, though. Needy, actually, but so mopey a lot of time. We call him our little mopey bear. I'm taking one class over the summer. Survey of Art History 2. And I'm looking for a part-time staff position at GSU because as a student assistant, we're allowed to flex our hours around our classes and take time off to study, but I never do that. So I figured if I'm consistently working my 20 hours a week, I might as well get better pay and benefits. I have been at GSU for almost a year now. The art classes were not what I expected. The drawing instruction was mainly pointing out what I did wrong. I reread Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain, but I'm still not getting it. I went to the library and checked out The Natural Way to Draw, which all the professors recommend, but I'm still not getting it. (sighs) I am drawing in my sketchbook for what it's worth.